And, yes. Now, uh, this is what I want to tell our audience, though, Richard, yeah. and, and this is the real credit to you. This site is so well done, uh, listeners, and, and I really suggest people go to this. People free, uh, one is free, but it's it's a it's a it's a it's an actual library of uh, Native American past, but o- also he uh, Richard brings in uh, linguists and he brings in uh, other researchers and he documents just a tremendous amount of, of information. It, and it, once you register, you get a, uh, I think your emails come out twice a week. <laughs> well, whenever, where you're... well, whenever I'm mad or not, if I'm getting mad, I might be turning out one or two a day, you know? <laughs> oh, is that the if motivation? It, if, there's, if there's a particular oh, issue, I hammer the people until they give up. And they, that's oh, the power. You know, you have like 20,000 people reading your article. If you criticize somebody, they're going to start paying attention to what you said. And yeah. It just, it, but it, I'm it, very it, impressed by this, uh, Richard. I'm very impressed, and uh, I'm going to post it on my site so people can look at it. Uh, people of the One Fire is just very well done and uh, well illustrated. It's a just – so much documentation, just amazing, and it's just—it makes me uh, uh, a little sad to, to to hear the opposition. I mean, there always is going to be opposition, but uh, there's a lot of detractors, uh, uh, like there is with Scott Walter and his his uh, research. So, um, it's it's really a really well done website. I want to well, thank you very much. Let me explain that we are military people. I mean, the Creeks are warriors, and. And I appreciate your nice comments, but basically we consider ourselves at war, not with guns, but with the word and with the truth. And mm-hmm. we're also a spiritual people. We're God, you know, we've always been monotheistic. And we find that one of the problems is that most of the southeastern anthropologists are atheists. Most of the southeastern anthropologists are atheists. Most of the southeastern anthropologists are atheists. They can't understand us. I mean, they don't understand because we're spiritual people, so we view knowledge as a gift from the master of breath, which is our name for God, as a gift from the master of breath, which is our name for God, as a gift from the master of breath, which is our name for God. And so I give, what I'm doing on this website is giving back what was given to me, these incredible opportunities I had as a young man. Or even, you know, yeah. when they thought I was homeless and living in a tent, I discovered a lost Maya civilization. You know, that is a gift. So I can't yeah. charge people for that, you know. So that's our philosophy of our, our culture and of our religion, to give back what's been given to us. And So the People of Fire will never be something that, you know, it's not a commercial site. I get no money from it. And wow. uh, neither does anybody else. Uh, based on all your research, uh, Richard, all your work you've done, what, what – um... What do you want to leave people with? What I mean, uh, this this what website is a wonderful uh, piece of work, and you continue to do great work and posting things. But what 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 do you want people to realize? In uh, I mean, to me, it's obvious that the Maya were here, but is it that that there were other native cultures who came well, and migrated honest, we into considered- North America, or what? It's the whole story of the creek. Very honest, as I said, we. We feel that it's called the spiritual path of the Creeks is a vastly superior way of life to how America is being run today, which is basically a bunch of pigs slopping at a trough, that our way of life is superior and that even though certain elements of academia have concealed it and not described it accurately, that, that it's a culture, it was a, it's a civilization, we had a writing system, and that we are American, I should say it's fried chicken, but we invented fried turkey. So, I mean, much of what you eat today is Greek food. Um, it Basically, that we are homegrown alternative to the way America is growing today. 